Hello and welcome. If you're watching this video, you've just purchased the world's most advanced water ionizer, the Chanson Miracle Max. We're going to unpack the product, go through the supplies that are included, make sure you have everything, and then we're going to go over the basic installation methods that you can choose and find out which install is perfect for you. Let's go ahead and unpack it now. You'll just remove this top section and the ionizer will pull out. Inside the box, outside of the ionizer, you'll find two side compartments. That's all that's in the, oh, two side compartments and the owner's manual. That's all that's going to be inside the box. All right. And inside the owner's manual will be a warranty card. We do our warranty a little bit different than other companies. This card is for you to fill out and keep for yourself. If you ever do need to mail the machine in for warranty, that's when you'll use this card and include the card with the machine. You'll also go on our website and you can fill out your serial number and your date of purchase to fulfill your warranty registration. There will also be a DVD showing how to do this install inside the, the kit. Out of the two boxes, there's one thin box and there's one thick box. In the thin box, the only thing you'll find is the flexible spout. And we'll just go ahead and take that out right now. And we'll set that aside. One flexible spout. In the second box, you're going to find a roll of quarter inch hard tubing. You're going to find a pressure reducing cylinder. And you're going to find a sealed package with multiple parts that we'll go over in detail. So the first thing you should do is tilt the ionizer over on its side and pull the plastic off from the bottom. It's just sealed up with tape, so you can go ahead and pull this tape off. I would highly, highly recommend that you save this plastic bag in case you ever need to send the machine back in for service or warranty. And go ahead and slide the machine out from the plastic bag. Now, in this video, we don't have a cap on this hole right here, but most likely when you get your machine, there'll be a plastic cap on this hole. Please do not throw out the cap. Please take off the cap and keep it in your accessory box permanently, because if you ever do need to mail the machine into us for warranty or service, we're going to want you to put that cap on there so no water leaks out into the package. So keeping this cap is very very important. Alright so basically in your kit you have your ionizer, you have your flexible spout, you have your hose with pressure reducer, and your accessories kit. We'll go ahead and open up this accessories kit right now and so we can show everyone what's in the kit. You have a pH testing kit with orange liquid drops. This is how you're going to know if your machine is adjusted properly. pH test kit. You're also going to have a salt basket. This is the basket that you will put your mineral rock salts in and as you see there's a cap on top of the ionizer. This cap just twists and it pulls out and you'll see there'll actually be a basket attached there already. So you're getting two baskets with your kit. One is the original and the other is a spare. Do not lose this. You're going to want to keep it permanently in your accessory box. So we'll go ahead and put this back in the accessory box for future use. You'll also see a rubber boot We'll go over what this is for in the future, but just make sure that it is in your kit. 
you'll see a cylinder, a white cylinder like this, and this is basically a debris filter. This is going to prevent debris or sediment from going into your ionizer. So we'll keep this to the side. Here is a suction cup to adhere the drain line to the inside of your sink. And the rest is basically the faucet diverter. This is the piece to screw on to the tip of your faucet to send water over to the ionizer. And we're going to go through the use of all these parts in detail. You'll also see an adapter that goes with this kit if the adapter that's uh, pre-installed is not the right size. And you'll also find a couple of screws and a, dr a few drywall plastic inserts for hollow walls in case you want to hang the ionizer on the wall. That's it for our parts. Now, when installing the ionizer, there's quite a few different installation options, and I want to go through a few of them with you so you can decide which is your perfect option for installing the Chanson Max countertop ionizer. The first and most basic option is called the faucet diverter. This is a simple piece that basically the tip of your faucet screws off this will screw on, a hose attaches to this barb here and goes out to feed your ionizer. You'll also see there's a black lever on this piece. So basically if you flip the lever down your faucet water is going to come out as normal. If you flip the lever up it's going to send water over to your ionizer. This is the faucet diverter method, very simple, very fast takes maybe 10 minutes to install your ionizer with this method. The only downside to using this method is if you don't want any hoses or anything attached to your main faucet then you're going to want to use a different installation method and we have actually quite a few options for you. The first will be what we call the G2 faucet installation method. This is where the water feeding the ionizer will actually come from under the sink. So this will go into a hole in your sink top or countertop. And water will come up, feed the ionizer, come back from the ionizer, and this will end up being your acid drain line. There's also an on-off valve right here. So from facing forward, seeing your faucet, There'll be two hoses coming off of here going out to the ionizer and we'll show you more examples of that later. G2 faucet install method. We have another method of install that's even simpler than the G2 and less expensive. This is called a reverse osmosis faucet. Again, like the G2, the water supply would come up from underneath the sink, which makes the install very easy if you're using any kind of Chanson pre-filter system. That way the pre-filter can easily be stored under the sink with the ionizer going on the countertop. These faucets, you have to use a special type of RO faucet. The standard faucets that you can buy in stores or online will not work because this will be pressurized. We have a special RO faucet that has a collar here that you see is removable and this holds down the faucet so we can hold pressure inside the faucet. And basically the way this works is we just put a quick connect piece right on the tip of this faucet and then we can push in the tubing that feeds the ionizer. And then the ionizer's return line will be adhered to the side of the sink with this suction cup. So it's a little bit cleaner of a look than the G2 because there's two hoses coming off of this that are visible, where this one just has a single tiny quarter inch hose coming down to feed the ionizer. So you'll have both of these options. A third option is to use something called a sink hole filler. And basically these are caps 
to fill a hole in a standard countertop or a sink. They come in many different finishes. They come in uh, stainless steel, they come in brushed nickel, they come in white, they come in black, and of course they can also be painted any color. But if you have a pre-filter system or you don't want hoses strapped to your main faucet, this works out pretty good. It's very inexpensive. And all we have to do is drill a quarter inch hole in the top of the cap. And I don't know if you could see this on the video, but the, the center of the, of the shaft is hollow. So it's very easy to take our quarter inch supply hose, push it through here, feed it through the unit down to our water supply under the sink. And then we can just put a simple connector here to go and feed the ionizer. So this would be the only thing visible on your countertop is this flat cover. So this is a third option. So you have the G2, you have the RO faucet, or you have what's called the hole cap method. Any of the three will work. They'll all look just fine in a high-end, very expensive kitchen. Um, this one will probably be the easiest method for those who live in apartment complexes and don't want to have to um, do anything permanent. Um, sometimes this hole can be used by removing a soap pump or even taking the dishwasher air gap and removing it and putting it under, under the sink. If you're going to do, if you're going to use the dishwasher air gap hole, I highly recommend you have a plumber or experienced handyman come by and do the install. That's not an install that you want to tackle yourself. And the last installation method would be by actually putting the Chanson Max under the sink and using one of our faucets, like our RO faucet up top, which would turn the water on and off from here. The only downside to that is you would have to open up your sink cabinet, go underneath, and be able to hit the power button or change any of the settings. So this machine is not ideally installed under the sink, but if you prefer it, you can install it under the sink. You'll just have to get used to opening your cabinet door to turn it on and off every time. For a true under sink water ionizer, check out our 